Talks. I'm back, it's me, Mabu Chowdhury, aka the People's Coach, aka your host and speaker for today. Welcome back to more of my educational videos where I talk about so many different areas and aspects of life from my own personal experience and from things that I have learned from the wise or just my own experience. Now, people, today I want to talk to you guys about not trusting, yes, that's right, not trusting your emotions. Yes. People, hear me out. Give me a second or two and I will explain what do I mean by not trusting your emotions. You know the funny thing about emotions? They can actually hinder your decisions. I'll give you an example. Well, before I give you an example, let me further elaborate my point. Emotions go up and go, they go down, up and down, up and down. And they're so unstable. Emotions are very, very unstable. Now check this out, when it comes down to making a decision, say for example you're heated up, you're angry, that's the worst time to make a decision. Or if you're very emotional, you can't think, ira you can't think rationally. You're happy. Sometimes when you're so happy, you get blinded by the truth. The thing is, the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention is this. I'll give you a further explanation, an example of what do I mean by not trusting your emotions. Sometimes you want to follow through in doing something. Then, and you don't feel like it, you're tired, you're run down, and you, and you just don't want to do it. But, 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 you decide to do it. Do you know what happens when you do this? When you decide to follow through, at first it's hard, but when you get stuck into it, then all of a sudden, it's not so hard. You start achieving, you start making gains, you start progressing. That's the thing, how many times in our life have we put things off? How many times have we told ourselves a story, a lie, an excuse to not follow through, to not do something? That's your emotions, your emotions are being lazy. Your emotions either are scared. Your emotions don't make you feel like doing it. Your emotions just want to shut down. This is what I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. Do not trust your emotions to be factual. Do not trust your emotions, not factual, sorry. Do not trust your emotions. It's all about going against your emotions. If you're angry and you want to make a decision, don't make the decision then, because you end up making the wrong one, because you're emotional. When you're calm, that's one of the best times to make a decision. That's one of the best times to follow through. When your emotions are telling you, oh, I don't feel like it, then do it. Go against the grain and just do it. Because you'll be surprised what you will achieve. Sorry, people, I do apologize for the interruption. My son's about to come in because he's crying. Someone's just, something or someone has set him off. So please, bear with me for one second. I will be right back. So come here, quickly, come here. Get inside, get inside, quick, quick, quick. Come here. Come here, quickly. Hold my hand, son, hold my hand, come here. Quick. Son, what's the matter, what's the matter? Quickly, tell me. What happened? What happened? Are you sure he pushed you? Yeah. He's saying his uncle pushed him. But why did he push you, son? Why did he push you? <laughs> See, the kid doesn't tell me why, he, why his uncle pushed him. In fact, I bet you his uncle didn't even push him. Sometimes the kids can over-exaggerate their stories. But in this instance, you've got to still reassure them. you still got to give them comfort and kisses, loads of, loads of affection. It's all right, son. And reassure us by telling them how much that you love them. How special are they? Are you okay, son? Yeah. See? Is everything going to be okay? Say yes, dad. Say yes, dad. <laughs> Say yes, dad. Do. <laughs> Say yes, dad. <laughs> Say, I'm okay, everybody. <laughs> Say it quickly. Say, I'm. I'm hobbit. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everybody. Oh, Say, do thumbs up quickly. Oh, well done, son. Mwah. See? 
Problem solved. So as I was saying, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Hmm, I kind of lost my flow because my son interrupted me. Now, now what was we talking about, people? Reinsurance, what about reinsurance, giving reinsurance. Sorry, I'm just, just trying to tr um, retract my steps of what I was talking to you guys about. Yes, that's right, trusting your emotions. That was a classic example of not trusting, sorry, not trusting your emotions. He displayed his emotions of grief, of being very emotional. He's crying. But I'll tell you what, if he had trusted that, he would have wound himself up even more. So therefore, what he had to do is come out of state and bring him into a different emotion of happiness. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. Is not trusting your emotions. Emotions will tell you all sorts of excuses to not follow through. Emotions will tell you things that are not true because they hinder your judgment. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention, people, to not trust your emotions. Sometimes you have to go against your emotions. Like I've said before, and I'm just trying to repeat it just in case if you've forgotten. When you're calm, when you're more in control of yourself, you're able to manage your emotions. Life is all about managing your emotions. Because when you take hold of your emotions and you manage your emotions, you're likely, more than likely, to make sharper, wiser decisions and that decisions will impact the quality of your relationships you have with people if you do this it can save you from so many arguments confrontation and miscommunication that you have with so many different people out there when you're in control of your emotions you're able to think more better more clearly you're able to stop yourself from overreacting and reacting and lashing out at some, um, some people or someone. So therefore, take hold of your emotions and control them. It's an easy thing to say, but it's very hard to do. You have to keep on practicing this over and over again until it becomes second nature. And sometimes you may not be so mindful. And the times you are mindful, you're able to take hold of your emotions. You're able to make calmer, wiser, sharper decisions. And sometimes your emotions will get the best of you. But it's all about training. Training over and over again, ingraining new habits, new, new habits of behavior. That's what it's about, people. So, I'll give you an example. For instance, one second. I have to get my son because he's near the tripod. And if he steps near the tripod, he might just, the camera might fall. So bear with me one second. Son, go with it, go with it. Be careful, because the camera is here. So as I was saying, people, about not trusting your emotions, about training, you have to train them over and over again, about being mindful. Discipline also is a part of emotions. I'll tell you why, because you have to do something but you don't want to do it. And you force yourself because it needs to be done. That is emotion right there. Something that you want to do in life. You're allowing your emotions to, to make that decision to take control of you. Do not allow that. It's all about taking hold of your emotions, managing them. So people, I hope that's been insightful. I hope that's given you something to think about. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now.